Biden crime family. On Thursday, the House Oversight Committee held an impeachment inquiry to look into President Joe Biden's family business dealings, including his sons, Hunter's business partners. It just gets really messy. Congressman Jason Smith of Missouri had this to say about the Biden family. Take a listen. In a newly released message to a Chinese business executive, Hunter Biden mentions preserving the, quote, keys to my family's only asset. That asset, Joe Biden. New evidence released in response to questions raised by members of the committee on both sides when Gary Shapley and Joseph Ziegler, the two IRS whistleblowers, testified in July paints a disturbing picture of a revolving door between Joe Biden's office and Hunter Biden's business partners. Let's bring in our panel to discuss director of research, Government Accountability Institute and author of Fallout Nuclear Bribes, Russian Spies and the Washington Lies that Enrich the Clinton and Biden, and Biden Dynasty, Seamus Bruner. Also with us, attorney and state chair of the Delaware Republican Party, Julianne Murray. Seamus, I'll start off with you first. Uh, uh, Representative James Comer, he said he's now going to subpoena the business and personal bank records of Hunter and Frank Biden. Frank is also Joe Biden's uh, brother. Uh, do you think he'll be able to find that definitive smoking gun? Because I think that's what's going on with the Democrats and the and the fake news. They want that. They want to see the gold bars. They want to see the cash stuffed in the closets like like a la Menendez, when the reality is all of the money was funneled through very complex LLCs. Yeah, that's right, Lydia. It's good to be with you again. Uh, look, Frank Biden, James Biden, Hunter Biden, there, it's, that text message is absolutely right. Joe Biden was their only way of making money. They use his name time and again to get paid. And now the question is, how did Joe benefit from this? And we already have so many smoking guns on this. I mean, that that message alone where Hunter acknowledges that Joe is the only asset, that's a smoking gun. You've got the text message where Hunter says, I have to give half my salary to pop. That's a smoking gun. You've got a dozen more just like that. And so when they follow the money, it's important to remember that it doesn't have to go to Joe directly. 18 U.S.C. Section 201, this is the bribery statute, says anything of value to any person for official action. So it could have gone to the family members. It doesn't have to have just gone to Joe. Right. Now, now, Julianne, Representative Jim Jordan, he really hammered away at Hunter being on the board of Burisma. I mean, this is indisputable. It's a fact that Hunter had absolutely no qualifications to be on an energy board and receive millions and millions of dollars. His only, you know, asset, his only credential is the fact that he is Joe Biden's son. And, and if it were anybody other than Hunter Biden, the circumstantial evidence is absolutely there yeah. mm -hmm. that you know that I mean and that's I mean that's the injustice here mm -hmm. you know all of this evidence is here but instead we're going well you know the Democrats are saying is there enough there's not enough there was a wire with Joe Biden's home address as the recipient address <laughs> that is the gold bars we're talking about <laughs> yeah. Yet we're still having to kind of argue about it. So, I mean, I, they need to keep hammering and they need to just kind of get this evidence out there because in the court of public opinion, this is, I mean, it's starting to get out there. And even the Democrats are saying, you know, there's just too much here. You know, it, it is absolutely clear that there was pay to play. Absolutely clear. I, I, common sense. It's common sense. Like you said, in a court of law, the it, although it, it is circumstantial evidence, a lot of people have been convicted of murder on circumstantial evidence, never mind when it comes to fraud. Now, uh, I'll ask you both this question. As you mentioned, Seamus, uh, Representative Byron Donald, he had that mic drop moment when he read aloud Hunter's text message to his daughter, Naomi. I hope you don't have to give half of your money away like I had to do for the big guy. I mean, that alone, that, like you said, that should be the smoking gun. And yet you heard so many Democrats and so many members of the media saying that Joe Biden is 100 percent innocent. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I'm glad Julianne brought up this payment from Jonathan Lee that was revealed last week, the 250,000 plus wired to an address belonging to Joe Biden. That actually does follow work product. So much of this money 
that comes from China and Ukraine and Russia. There's no work product in the Hunter Biden emails or the laptop. You never see some brilliant memo drafted by Hunter that is worthy of getting millions of dollars. But this $250,000 transfer actually does fi follow some work product. But that comes from Joe. Joe Biden, just weeks prior to that wire, had lit, written a letter of recommendation for Jonathan Lee. This is the BHR, Bohai Harvest Principles daughter to get into Georgetown. And it is really weird timing because the Bohai Harvest BHR dealings started back in 2013. Why are they wiring money all the way up in 2019 when Joe's running for president? It's just weeks after a letter of recommendation from, from Joe. So it looks like yet another quid pro quo. Julianne, um, they're telling me to wrap, but I want to get your quick reaction. I know you don't have a crystal ball. You're not God. But do you see Joe Biden finally getting indicted or finally getting impeached? No. And I'm going to tell you why. You're going to be surprised. I mean, I think the evidence is there, but they have to show that it's actually happening now while he's president. Mm -hmm. All of this happened before. So getting the linkage to what's happening while he's president. Now, would he resign? Potentially. Do I think they have enough there? Absolutely. But is he actually impeached? I don't think that he would be convicted at a trial. All right. Seamus Bruner, Jillian Murray, thank you so much for the great conversation. Thank you.